Some states are on the brink of collapse, and staying could threaten your financial future. In this video, we'll uncover the 10 U.S. states you should seriously consider leaving in 2024. With crumbling infrastructure, catastrophic natural disasters, high unemployment, and economic chaos, these states offer compelling reasons to leave now. Let's dive in. Number 10. Illinois. Illinois is teetering on the brink of financial collapse, with a debt-to-GDP ratio of 122%, the highest in the nation. Crushing property and income taxes are driving a mass exodus, leaving the state's economy in tatters. The underfunded pension system is a ticking time bomb, buried under $140 billion of debt and only 40% funded for future obligations. Illinois credit rating has plummeted to the lowest in the country with bonds hovering just above junk status, making borrowing costs skyrocket. Public services, especially education, are crumbling. Nearly half of Illinois public universities' budgets are now swallowed by pension obligations, a shocking leap from just 7% in the past. This financial straitjacket has driven up tuition, slashed budgets, and caused student enrollment to plummet. Meanwhile, the opioid epidemic ravages the state, with over 3,000 lives lost to overdoses in the year 2021. The spread of deadly synthetic opioids like fentanyl is overwhelming the healthcare system, triggering a cascade of social crises. To make matters worse, environmental disasters like tornadoes and severe storms are becoming more frequent and destructive, pushing the state's already fragile resources to the brink. Finally, Illinois faces a devastating brain drain as students flee for more affordable education elsewhere, never to return. This exodus is draining the state's future talent, casting a dark shadow over its prospects. So, what do you think is the most pressing issue that the state needs to address to prevent further decline? Comment below and let me know. Number 9. California California, once a symbol of hope and beauty, is now overwhelmed by deepening challenges that make life increasingly difficult. The state's position on the Pacific Ring of Fire leaves it dangerously exposed to natural disasters like earthquakes and floods. Crumbling infrastructure, such as the Whittier Narrows and Lake Isabella Dams, poses a grave threat to millions, with potential losses in the billions. Whittier Narrows Dam, in particular, could unleash catastrophic floods during heavy rains. Flooding risks are worsened by the state's rugged terrain and poor drainage, with climate change and environmental degradation only adding to the danger. Severe droughts have caused water shortages in areas like Kuyama Valley, while extreme heat strains the aging electrical grid, leading to frequent blackouts. Wildfires, now more frequent and devastating, continue to destroy homes and lives. The economic situation is equally dire. The collapse of major institutions like Silicon Valley Bank has shaken confidence in California's financial stability, weakened banking regulations, and a staggering national debt exceeding $1.5 trillion threaten the state's economic future. California's sky-high cost of living is forcing residents out. Housing prices are double the national average, with median home prices around $800,000 and rents in San Francisco averaging $3,000 for a one-bedroom apartment. With the cost of living 50% higher than the national average, many struggle to afford basic needs. Adding to this burden are high taxes, with sales taxes reaching over 10% in some areas. While property taxes are relatively low, high property values result in substantial tax bills, further straining homeowners. Before we get into the rude awakening of the city that never sleeps, New York, if you can help us, it only takes 10 seconds to hit that subscribe button. In return, we promise to keep making the show even better for you. Deal? Number 8. New York. New York City, home to over 8 million people crammed into tight spaces, teeters on the edge of chaos, food shortages loom, and despite its cabbage production, the city is alarmingly exposed. Crime is skyrocketing with major offenses up by over 20% since the year 2022. Political deadlock and economic instability only fuel public fear. Household debt is soaring, worsened by Republic First Bank's recent collapse. 
High funding costs and a fragile real estate market are pushing banks to the brink, jeopardizing the financial future of countless residents, especially the young, who struggle to secure credit or housing. New Yorkers bear the highest state and local taxes in the nation, devouring nearly 16% of their income and making life in the city almost 90% more expensive than the national average. Housing costs are staggering. Nearly 40% of households are overburdened, with this number rising to over 43% in the city. The exodus has begun, with over 300,000 fleeing the state in the year 2021. For Black and Hispanic households, the situation is especially dire, as New York leads the nation in homelessness, with rates double the national average. Natural disasters pose a constant threat. A major earthquake could devastate the city, where many buildings fail to meet safety standards. Climate change heightens the risk of coastal flooding, making large-scale disasters more likely. Despite efforts to build seawalls, improve drainage, and update building codes, the city's aging infrastructure and dense population challenge these initiatives. If you want to learn more about this topic, check out our previous video on the seven states most at risk of collapsing by 2024 for more details. Now, move on to the next state. Number 7. New Jersey. New Jersey once a refuge for its proximity to New York and Philadelphia, now stands on the brink of collapse. The state's crushing tax burden, with the highest property taxes in the nation, demands nearly $10,000 from the average household annually, more than double the national average. Combined with one of the steepest income taxes, peaking at nearly 11%, residents are being pushed beyond their financial limits. This strain is compounded by New Jersey's staggering financial instability. The state has the highest unfunded debt ratio in the country, with liabilities exceeding one-fifth of total personal income. Desperate measures to plug budget gaps have only led to more debt, threatening even higher taxes and severe cuts to essential services. Housing has become a crisis of its own. With a median home price of $400,000, many families find themselves priced out watching the dream of home ownership slip away as financial pressures mount. The state's pension system is on the verge of collapse, funded at just 40%, with over $130 billion in looming liabilities. Resolving this could mean painful tax hikes or deep cuts to public services, leaving residents to bear the brunt of the fallout. Healthcare is in a dire state. New Jersey has one of the highest maternal mortality rates in the nation, with 38 deaths per 100,000 births and an even more alarming 102 deaths per 100,000 for black women. Despite progress in renewable energy, New Jersey's reliance on natural gas leaves it vulnerable as climate change intensifies natural disasters along its densely populated coastlines. Meanwhile, the fentanyl and opioid epidemic ravages communities, straining the already fragile healthcare system and threatening to unravel the social fabric of the state. Number 6. Connecticut. Connecticut is on the brink of a crisis that threatens its people, especially retirees. By next year, the state's per capita debt is set to exceed $1,600, placing an overwhelming burden on its people. The cost of living is already suffocating, with median home prices soaring past $300,000, far above the national average, making homeownership a fading hope for many taxes make the struggle even worse. Connecticut's income tax, ranging from 5 to 7 percent, pushes the state's tax burden to nearly 13 percent, the second highest in the nation. Nearby New Hampshire with no personal income tax leaves Connecticut residents at a stark disadvantage. Property taxes exceeding 2 percent weigh down homeowners, marking the state as one of the most financially oppressive in the country. Economically, Connecticut is withering. From the year 2010 to 2019, the state's GDP barely moved, and after adjusting for inflation, it actually shrank by nearly 19 percent, a glaring sign of decay. Winters bring more than cold, they bring hardship. Temperatures often drop below freezing, and snowfall in areas like Litchfield Hills can exceed 40 inches, turning daily life into a struggle, particularly for the elderly. The population is shrinking. Between the years 2010 and year 2022, 
Connecticut lost 0.2% of its people, raising alarms about the future of its economy, schools, and public services. Despite its strong educational reputation, a skills gap persists, hindering workforce readiness. Adding to this, Connecticut's infrastructure is crumbling. In the year 2021, the American Society of Civil Engineers gave the state a troubling C grade, pointing to deteriorating roads, bridges, and public transportation. Addressing these issues will require significant investment, a daunting task for a state already stretched thin. If you're still here, comment I'm still here in just two minutes. You'll be amazed at our fifth state, which has an unprecedented combination of environmental and economic collapse. Number 5. Louisiana. Louisiana is a state on the edge, ravaged by storms that grow more frequent and devastating with each passing year. Hurricanes like Ida have torn through communities, leaving behind shattered homes and crippled lives. In Cancer Alley, an 85-mile stretch along the Mississippi River, residents are trapped in a toxic environment where cancer rates soar and babies are born too small too soon. The housing market is in chaos. After relentless hurricanes, many insurers have abandoned the state, driving premiums to unbearable levels, more than double the national average. Homeownership is slipping away as median prices climb beyond reach. Economic inequality is a glaring wound. In Cancer Alley, industrial giants pollute with impunity, while nearby low-income, minority communities suffer. Nearly one in five Louisianans live in poverty, with some areas facing rates as high as 40 percent. The gap between rich and poor is one of the widest in the nation, fueling deepening social unrest. Education offers little hope. Only 20 percent of students meet basic standards, leaving Louisiana near the bottom of national rankings. Despite increased spending, the cycle of poverty tightens its grip, strangling the future. The economic situation is dire, with over 10% of mortgages in default, the highest in the country. The state's financial reserves are almost depleted, with just over three weeks of funding left, pushing Louisiana toward fiscal collapse. Number 4. Kentucky. Kentucky is a state in pain. With 16% of its people living in poverty and a median income that lags far behind the national average, opportunities are scarce and hope is hard to find. The public health crisis is overwhelming more than one in three Kentuckians are obese, driving up health care costs and crippling public services. The opioid epidemic has shattered countless lives, leaving the state with some of the highest overdose death rates in the country. Education offers little solace. Only one in four adults hold a bachelor's degree, limiting their chances of breaking free from economic hardship. Public schools, starved of funding, leave students with few prospects for a better future. The state's infrastructure is failing. 7% of bridges are structurally deficient, and nearly one in four roads are in poor condition, posing safety risks and inflating transportation costs. In rural areas, the lack of high-speed internet stifles both educational and economic progress. Kentucky's past haunts its present. The environmental scars left by coal mining and the state's vulnerability to natural disasters, like the devastating floods of the year 2022 that caused over $400 million in damage, compounded struggles. Politically, Kentucky is a house divided, burdened by a crushing debt of $43 billion. This financial strain threatens essential services, while deep political divides make it nearly impossible to address the state's mounting crises. Kentucky is in desperate need of healing, but the path forward seems steep and uncertain. Number 3. Mississippi. Mississippi teeters on the edge of collapse, its struggles unmistakable. Nearly one in five residents fights to survive, with nearly 20% living in poverty. The median household income is a bleak $45,000, far below the national average, highlighting the daily economic hardships faced by many. Healthcare in Mississippi is in crisis. The state has the highest infant mortality rate in the country, and expectant mothers are at risk as rural hospitals close from lack of funds. Over one in 10 residents are uninsured, and with no Medicaid expansion, essential healthcare is slipping further out of reach. 
The shortage of providers, especially in rural areas, only worsens this dire situation. Education is another tragedy. Only 23% of adults have a bachelor's degree, leaving many unprepared for the modern job market. Struggling K-12 schools trap generations in poverty, deepening the state's economic woes. Natural disasters like hurricanes and floods relentlessly batter the state, destroying homes and displacing families. Mississippi's infrastructure is crumbling, with roads, bridges, and water systems in dangerous disrepair, adding to the state's financial burdens. The population is shrinking as residents flee for better opportunities, draining the labor force and tax base. Deep racial and economic divides, coupled with political instability, make effective governance nearly impossible, threatening any hope for meaningful reform. Number 2. West Virginia West Virginia is drowning in an opioid crisis that drains nearly $100 billion annually, ravaging the state's health care and criminal justice systems while fueling a tragic rise in deaths. The state faces some of the worst health challenges in the nation, with nearly 40% of residents struggling with obesity and 14% suffering from heart disease. Limited access to essential care leads to higher mortality rates and a diminished quality of life. Natural disasters especially floods, only deepen the suffering. From the year 2000 to 2021, over 1,600 floods devastated the state, destroying property and lives as crumbling infrastructure failed to withstand the onslaught. Recent legislative changes have compounded these issues, with relaxed welfare and vaccination regulations worsening the health and economic crises. Meanwhile, lawmakers remain paralyzed, unable to pass effective policies. The collapse of the coal industry has shattered West Virginia's economy, leaving towns haunted by high unemployment and scarce job opportunities. Over 300,000 people live in poverty, with 11 counties trapped in chronic hardship. The median household income, at just $49,000, lags far behind the national average. The housing market also struggles, with a modest 7% rise in home prices offering little relief amid economic decline and population loss. Educational attainment remains alarmingly low, with only 19% holding a bachelor's degree, stifling growth and opportunity. These intertwined crises, worsened by inconsistent political action, cast a shadow over West Virginia's future. If you're curious about the challenges that brought Alaska to the top of this list, stay until the end of the video. Number 1. Alaska Alaska, once a symbol of rugged beauty and pioneer spirit, now teeters on the edge of an uncertain future. With its harsh climate and short growing seasons, local food production is scarce, leaving remote communities vulnerable to devastating shortages in times of crisis. With the rapid thawing of permafrost when global temperatures rise. This could cause billions in damages and undermine critical infrastructure. Coastal villages like Shishmaref and Kivalina are being consumed by erosion and rising seas, forcing costly relocations estimated between $100 and $400 million per community, costs the state can barely afford. Alaska's economic backbone, the Alaska Permanent Fund, is eroding due to mismanagement and infighting, shaking public trust and weakening returns. The collapse of the crab fishery, caused by a climate-induced marine heat wave, has dealt a $300 million blow to local economies. Plummeting oil revenues and volatile prices have led to a looming fiscal crisis, with a nearly $1.5 billion budget deficit and dwindling reserves. A severe housing shortage, driven by soaring costs and scarcity, has made homeownership unattainable for many exacerbating the state's healthcare crisis by hindering the recruitment of essential workers. The state's shrinking population, 24,000 residents lost in recent years, has further drained its tax base and economic vitality. Meanwhile, political infighting over fiscal policies like the Alaska Permanent Fund dividend stalls any hope for long-term planning. If you found today's video interesting, don't hesitate to hit the like button and subscribe to the Discover Globe channel your support is very important to us. Be sure to check out the next video appearing on your screen. You're sure to love the content we bring. Please leave a comment about which country you'd like us to explore next. Thank you for watching and see you in the latest video.
Thanks for being with us on this great journey. Leave your thoughts in the comments and like to help us. Remember to subscribe for more. See you soon.